Hey guys, and welcome to your paint and sip tutorial with me. I'm super excited to be here today with you guys, and we are going to actually paint my, well, not my favorite, but definitely one of my favorites. I have so many favorites in this collection. Um, and happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> okay, so the painting that we're doing today is this lovely piece here. And so we have our sunset in wine glass, and I have like, heart-shaped branches and then we have the glass and a nice background and it looks very like what difficult I think that's what a lot of people will say but in actuality it's actually one of the simplest paintings I've done in a long time so before we get started on this piece I just want to make sure everybody has everything that they should need which includes paint so you guys should all have paint red yellow blue white black Okay, cool. So after you make sure you have your paints, I wanna make sure you also have yourself a cup of water and your three brushes. Okay, and we're gonna get started. This is exciting and I wanna hop right into it, get your juices flowing. If you need to stretch, stretch. If you need to grab your cocktail, grab your cocktails, whatever. I'm gonna take a sip, okay? Okay guys, so the first thing I want you guys to do is to take your marker and we're going to outline some things in this painting so that we do not lose them in translation when we actually paint over this, okay? So grab your canvas and start tracing. I'm going to show you guys what to trace, okay? So I'm going to trace everything inside, inside my glass, okay? And I'll show you guys as, I, as I'm finished. Take, you know, your canvas down and trace. Okay. Okay. All right. Now that's how your canvas should look once everything is traced. You can see the branches. You can see the backdrop. You can see the actual glass. And I only want you guys to trace these things because... I'm not there to help you recreate these shapes if you paint over it and you can't see, you can no longer see the shape, okay? So that's the main reason. It's just for later on, you won't have to suffer, okay? All right, so I'm gonna grab my plate and I'm going to start with the color yellow, okay? Now, before I start, I just wanna show you guys some color variations as well. Um, just in case you want to go ahead and use different colors in the sunset free rain You can use any color you like or you can follow right along with me um, But I just want to show you guys some samples. So this is just yellow yellow and white blue and red that makes purple If you want a lighter purple, you can add some white This is yellow and red which makes the color orange and I added white and then this is the color without white This is just red and white it's for pink you can do a dark pink a light pink and this is just blue and white plain blue like lighter variations and then this is blue and yellow which make that beautiful color green which is my favorite color in the world um so if you're looking to add any other colors to your sunset this is a perfect um example of the other colors that you can make with the color palette that you have okay cool so next first things first i'm gonna grab my medium brush i'm gonna wet it just a tiny bit in some water and I'm going to use my yellow paint. I think everyone should use yellow paint though for the center because it is a sunset so it's important that there is a lot of yellow um, for the sun, you know. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take this paint, my medium brush, and I'm going to start painting the center of my canvas, okay? See how now you can freely paint and you'll still be able to see your background? You won't have to be like, oh my god, I painted over it. But I'm gonna get to work and I'm gonna add a lot of yellow to this canvas and you should join me, do the same. So now that we have all our yellow paint on, and I put the yellow paint above and below the horizon, um, we're basically just gonna blend so we're gonna do the sky first but I just want you to see how these colors are gonna work okay so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna use my same brush I didn't clean it or anything I'm gonna grab some of my beautiful red my red paint 
and I am going to use that same dirty brush in my red paint and I'm going to just kind of blend right on top of that so I'm going side to side like this okay you see how that's like blending out beautiful don't be afraid to paint over those trees we will get back to them later make sure you get that sunset all the way across because you don't want to have to go back and paint that later okay so make sure you get it all the way across your canvas all the areas that are supposed to be painted okay wow and you can always go back over the yellow if you feel like you went down too much or it's not blending just grab some more yellow with that same brush and just kind of blend up into it up into the color like that like so like that add some more orange down here don't be afraid of these colors you are in control okay I'm gonna grab some more red and I'm gonna do the same thing down here so we're basically just gonna mimic the sky and the water okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and make sure you're leaving room for other colors make sure you're painting everywhere that needs to be painted don't forget these spaces because there's a line there don't let them distract you go all the way across even if you go outside the wine glass it's okay we can paint over it okay all right so the next color I'm gonna use is blue I'm gonna clean my brush just a little and I'm gonna grab my color blue and I'm gonna do the same thing okay I'm gonna take that blue paint and I'm gonna just add it in there like this so you blend it into the other color don't be afraid to touch these colors you know let them blend with each other they're friends then I'm gonna add some red I'm not gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna add some red at the tippity 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 top and so the blue and red should make purple see what's going on there you can make that as dark as you want you can add more blue like that okay and what I want you guys to do is blend these colors so okay so that's purple I'm gonna take my same, I'm still using the same brush, and I'm gonna take some more blue, and I'm gonna blend that even more here, okay? That's so beautiful. So beautiful. So you guys have fun blending. Just make color variations. So go from yellow to orange to red to blue to purple, whatever you feel, okay? And if you feel like colors are blending too much, give yourself a second. Maybe you're using a lot of paint and it needs to dry. So give yourself enough time for the colors to dry before you apply another layer, okay? So you can always pause this video and work on this piece because this is the main portion of the piece. Um, so you can always feel free to just stop my talking and do what you do, okay? I'm gonna um, add some more blue here. I just want blue at the bottom. I don't really need, you know, kind of have fun. This is your painting. You can make it look however you want, okay? I'm gonna clean my brush. If I'm going from blue to a different color, I'm gonna clean my brush because I don't want my dark colors matching in with my lighter colors, okay? Adding in more yellow is always a plus. Yellow is such a sunset color and it just brings the piece to life. You can add yellow in places it doesn't belong. Literally just have fun with the sunset. Add some red here.
my favorite 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 thing to do is to always add more yellow i feel like yellow makes everything just go together and blend nicely so go ahead and always add fresh yellow back into the center of your piece and just have fun and be super forgiving of yourself while you're doing this because honestly um a lot of people are hard on themselves when they paint and i think painting should be fun and ther therapeutic and just very relaxing so how can you be relaxed if you're being stressed and unhappy you know just have fun like i said pause the video play around with your blending skills and then come back to see the next step all right so this is what your background should look like once everything is dry i'll bring it closer to show you guys so i basically have a lot of yellow here in the purest form like yellows here then there's red then there's blue then there's blue then there's purple um try not to put the paint on too heavy so that you can still see the stencils in the back and a pro tip is to definitely let the background dry a little bit and then add more colors um, on top of that okay so for the next step and this painting is actually really simple you know it's not as hard as it seems um so let's just jump right into the next step this painting should be dry your background should be dry if it's not dry go ahead and pause the video here and wait for it to dry to continue okay so i'm gonna take some black paint and i'm gonna take my tiny detail brush once I have the black paint on my tiny brush, I'm going to just trace all these outlines that I see. You can do that in whatever direction that you just, <laughs> you can do it however you want, okay? So if you wanna go here first, across, you totally can do that, okay? So I'm just gonna take it is not moving enough go ahead and just add some more black I mean some more water to your brush and just mix it into that paint and it should definitely make it able to do that okay So I've filled in my horizon line, my mountains. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in and I am going to do the trees. So the trees are like a heart shape. So just think of that when you are drawing, okay? So there's a point down here. And then it's like, this is my heart here. It's okay if your hand's a little wobbly. Tree branches are supposed to be wobbly or tree shapes are wobbly, so they're not very much a straight line. I would even advise a little wobble just to give it that natural effect, okay? And if you feel like you don't have much control on your brush, just hold it like a pencil. Just kind of control it.
Now once everything's outlined, I'll go ahead and use my medium brush and just fill in these shapes. Okay, so we're gonna let that first layer of black dry. Look how pretty that looks, it's coming together guys. And like I said, this painting is just a little simpler than expected, okay? So, you wanna go back to your tiny brush, okay? And we're gonna do some branches. Now, you should still be able to see a couple of your branches here and there. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna mix it in some black paint with some water. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too much paint on my brush. I'm gonna take a very light hand and I'm just gonna trace these shapes that I see for branches. You know, you want them to be thicker in the back and lighter in the front. So you wanna use a very, very light hand. You don't have to press down too much to get the idea down, okay? But you do want it to be thicker back here and thinner out here. And for some reason, branches always end in the letter V, so if you feel like it looks crazy, just add one more branch so you have like a, a V, and that should help a lot. Let me actually get a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to just take this brush, and I'm using a very light hand, and I am just pulling that branch out like that. See, I'm making like little V's at the end. And then this one I'm pulling out, I'm making a V, extra branch, still gets a V, extra piece. So you just wanna make sure that these parts are thicker, okay?
All right, so after you kind of let this black dry a little bit, I just kind of want to add a sun element in the middle of the water. So I'm just coming down into center with some yellow. Because we're gonna do a second layer of this black, okay? So don't worry if you cover some branches. I'm gonna add a little red. I'm gonna add a little red to make a little bit of orange. Okay, and I'm just gonna go same thing. Okay, just so it has like a little descent. Can also add blue in there at the bottom just to make everything kind of flow. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a second layer of black just to clean up any lines or anything that I feel is out of place. So you can use both your medium and your tiny brush for this, whatever you feel works best for you. I'm gonna use my tiny brush if I'm going over any branches and then a medium brush if I'm going over bigger areas, okay? I'm just gonna take my regular blue, and I'm gonna add a little bit of black into it until I find like this nice navy blue. If it's too dark, feel free to add more blue into it. Um, get it to the blue that you like, it's like a royal blue, something of that. I would say you can do different colors for the background. My best advice would be to keep it dark, however, because I tried a lot of color and I just did not like how it looked on the outside of the bus. I don't know, but try it out. Let me know how you like it. Um, art is free. Creativity is free as well. So, you know, do what you see. All right, so I'm gonna take my medium brush and what I'm gonna do is hopefully you guys can still see your lines from our glass and I'm going to just paint. I'm gonna outline the glass from the outside. Okay. Let me get closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay.
So what you see me doing here is adding a second layer to my background. I did use my big brush, um, but after a, you know initial coat with my big brush, I went ahead and used my medium brush just to get a more controlled background. And I think it put the paint on thicker as well, so it looks more flat and more. Um, I don't know. I just enjoyed it better with my medium brush. But if you love it with your big brush by all means um, but just a pro tip if you want to get a less streaky background and more solid color I would go ahead use my big brush to get most of the color on and then use my medium brush just to get it um, super solid Okay, so on to the next step. Here you can see I'm going to be using my tiny brush with some white paint and I'm adding water to that paint just to get it to move a lot more. And I'm basically just gonna outline this glass with a very thin line using my tiny brush. So go ahead and you know put your canvas on a surface that works best for you. As you can see there, I had to take my canvas down because I simply could not draw it on the easel. So go ahead and take your time, be very sturdy. If you have to pause the video for this section, that's totally fine. And go ahead and outline that glass in a very, very tiny line, as small as you can make it. So be very light with the brush and just trust yourself and the process.
So I'm really proud of my line here around the glass. I think that it looks really, really good. The only thing I suggest is that if you made your line too thick and you want to kind of like tone it down, the best thing to do is basically just take that dark blue background color, your medium brush or your tiny brush and just go ahead and work your way right around that glass with that brush until you find something that you really and truly love. I would really keep the outlines to the outside of the glass however. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically taking the back of my, one of my blue brushes, one of my tiny brushes, and I'm going to use black paint mixed in water, and I'm going to basically just take that brush and just dot the ends of all of my tree branches. So every single tree branch that you see there, go ahead and add some dots. You can add as many as you like, you can add as few as you like. But it definitely brings the element to the painting that makes it look more realistic and makes it look more finished. So go ahead and do that and then I will tell you the next step. Okay, so now I'm switching up the colors on you guys and I am now adding white paint to the same back of that brush. Cleaning it off first, of course, and then I'm gonna add white paint. And I am so sorry, I did not realize the camera was still fully focused. I wanted to zoom in so you guys can see the trees and I totally forgot to zoom out so you can see me doing stars in the sky. But that's basically what I'm doing. If you wanna wait to see the result before you do this, you can totally do that. Then you guys pause the video and create your stars but it takes like two minutes or less to do that so just use the same brush white paint a little bit of water and go ahead and add some stars I added it to the top of my wine glass as you'll see in the next clip okay so once you guys are done dotting with the back of your brush 
you've added your stars, you've added your tree colors. You want to let these dots dry before you move on to this next step because what we're going to do, we're going to add the glass effect. So when I say the glass effect, I'm speaking of this effect here and it's literally when you look up close, it's just white lines. Um, so I'm going to use my medium brush, I'm going to dry the brush off and we're going to just add some streaks to the glass and that'll be our finisher. Um, if you feel like you want to add more to your background or anything after we do this, you can totally do this. If you feel like you have made your white line too thick, you can also go back with that blue and just kind of make it thinner. You know what I mean? You can clean up anything that you want to clean up after this. But this is our last step. I'm so proud of you guys. You've made it all the way through this tutorial with me. And look how cute these paintings are. They're so nice. And I hope you guys look, you know, you personalized it. You had fun. You didn't stress too much. And that you let these dots dry before you go ahead and start doing this step. Okay? So, I'm going to grab my medium brush. Medium brush. My medium brush, and I'm going to dry the brush. I'm going to make sure it's clean, but I'm going to make sure it's also like as dry as possible. So I'm just wiping it on back and forth like this on my napkin, and then I'm going to dip it in some white paint. Um, if you want, guys, you can practice doing these strokes on the back of the canvas. Um, just use your brush and just because it's a very light stroke and these are it's white paint but I swear in person you can see it so that's all I kind of want you guys to do is just light back and forth strokes okay so and you want to be strategic you don't want to put too many you don't want to put too little um, just be nice to yourself okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a few just to show you what I mean The less paint on your brush, to me, the better this looks. Because you can always go back and add more. You don't want to mess this up because you can't subtract, you know what I mean? So as you're doing this, kind of step back, get a feel of it. I want to add more. This is perfect. Whatever you're feeling, okay? I like to put a lot on the sides here. Like that. See how now it's like looking like a wine glass? Oh my god. You guys have made it all the way through this tutorial. I am so proud of your commitment and I am so proud of your level of artistry. You have done great today. Please send me pictures so I can enjoy these pictures as well. Because guys, this was fun. Okay, don't be afraid to do like smaller ones here. Again, like I said, just step back. See what it is that you like and stop when you feel like you should stop don't overdo it because you cannot erase this part okay but have fun I had a really good time today with you guys thank you so much for supporting my business thank you guys so much for just being here being attentive being alive painting getting some art therapy in your bones if you want to add any extra highlights, you can also turn your brush this way and do a couple strokes in the areas that you already did it. So it's just like fuller white, you know, just a little. And like I said, again, less is more as always. So just do what you can and have a great time. So thank you guys for doing this painting. It was so fun. Congratulations. You did a great job. And until next time, bye, toodles.